Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Like, oh, I'm trying to turn the air down and I'm over here touching the stereo. Alrighty then. Um, Y'all gonna see headbands all week because um, I gotta get my hair done on Sunday. My hairdresser finally got back to me right when I was about to call this other lady. She got back to me um, and she's doing me and Grace hair on Sunday. And that means all week I'm gonna be wearing different one of these because the frontal is a mess and I can't do nothing else with it. I did all I could. And if she didn't do such a chunky uh, swoop, I could have been working with different styles, but that swoop is so chunky, it, it, I couldn't, uh, no, it was a hot dang old mess. Um, but like it's 7.23, I just dropped the little kids off. I am just feeling extremely overwhelmed. I have a video I have to record. Um, I still gotta get my morning workout in before I go to work. It's just, it's, it's, it's feeling like honestly too much. Like I just feel like too, much is going on right now and i just want a break for a moment i if that makes sense i didn't get to cl fully clean my house the kids messed up the house last night i know my mom's gonna help me with that but i hate leaving that burden on her you know like i think being a working mom is very hard like it's very hard when you work a traditional office setting and you're a, a, a mom like if you're a youtube mom or an influencer mom it is a lot easier and i'm gonna tell you why because when i was just focusing on influencing and taking care of my kids that was a lot easier because guess what i edited when i wanted to i did everything when i wanted to okay um videos for companies went up when i wanted them to on that schedule so it was uh, it was a lot different versus being a traditional working person where you have a clock in clock out time that's a lot different than someone that works as an influencer um because it's kind of like owning your own business but of course sometimes business owners they work harder than you know people that do a traditional nine to five but the thing is they can make their own hours they get to do their own thing and that's what makes it better to be a business owner because you get to do your own thing and i don't know i i really i just can't wait till i can get to that point where i don't have to go to a nine to five and i can do what i want to do and what i want to do is to be a mom and to do my own thing um but the reality of it is that my job pays extremely well when it's doing really good. So, like, I would be a fool not to at least work their busy season every year. Like, I would be a fool not to. Um, because you'll make, like, 70% of your income of the year in, like, four months you'll be a fool to say no to that kind of money um and those are the months i don't mind working like hard as heck at my job like as much overtime whatever is needed but when i don't feel like doing it is like times like right now because we should be laid off we're supposed to be laid off and they're not laying us off so we're going into this office bothering people all day long and getting chewed out of why there's no sales well it's almost christmas it's cold outside nobody cares about their lawn right now they they don't they don't they don't care i'm sorry to inform y'all but it's not the biggest thing on their mind right now and we're getting chewed out because we're not selling but i mean in reality this is not the season that we should be selling we should give our customers a break <sighs> but you know it, it gets a little mm, it just gets aggravating like because this is the time I usually spend more time with my children. And now I don't get that opportunity. And that's one of the reasons why I actually like the job because this was the time of year that I'm off every year and I get to spend it with my children because it's the holiday season. Now you took the holiday season away from me being able to be with my children. So I'm a little salty, like no cap. Like I am very salty about that. Um, but they're gonna have to make us work from home when the kids go on uh, leave because the kids break starts soon and when the kids break starts i think this friday or whatever 
we all have to work from home because I have kids that single parents because the schools are going to be closed. And if they really think people are going to be buying, no. And they're going to be blowing up our phone and everything else. I already know. But I just, I don't know. I just feel, I just want to talk about that this morning, that I'm overwhelmed. Like, and then it's like, I'm trying to keep up with, with my other YouTube channel. And I get up five o'clock in the morning just to make sure the first round of videos is up. And then I got to have the second round of videos done. And it gets, it gets hard. Like, it gets really, really hard. And it's like, I don't understand. Like, I wish I had energy like Bonnie. Because Bonnie can sit up there and put out three videos a day. And I'm trying to get to that point. And at one point, I was able to do three videos a day. But now, it just seems like it's just too hard to do that and get out three videos a day. Um, if I could do that for them, I would love to. Like, that would be amazing to be able to bring three videos a day, um, five, seven days a week. Like, I would love to do that. I just can't. I'm having a hard time keeping up with doing two. I don't know. I just feel like I am letting myself down that I am not accomplishing what I set out to accomplish because I feel there's so much I should have accomplished that I haven't, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry we talking a lot this morning. It's just it's on my mind. I went and I got ready already. Like, I already got my clothes on, took my shower, everything. I just... I, don't know, I feel like I let myself down in some kind of way and I let the people around me down. I can't explain how I let them down, but I feel like I have let everyone down and I haven't done everything I needed to to be successful. Because I'm 35 years old. I'm 35 years old, twice divorced. You know what I mean? I'm trying to take care of kids by myself, I'm trying to do it all alone. And it's hard like and Matt I feel like if it's hard for me imagine someone that doesn't have the support system I have I have a dad that's in their kids life I don't know why it's this glare like it's a glare I don't know why I got a I got a dad that's in the kids life I got a mom that helps so much with my children like imagine not having that support system how a lot of moms what they go through and I just thank God for what I do have because if I didn't have my support system, I don't know where I would be. Like how many moms could say on the weekend if they wanted to because the dad does what he's supposed to and he doesn't make excuses and he picks up his kids. If you just wanted to sleep all Saturday, you could because he took his kids. You know how many women and how many even friends I got, they got to fight with their kids, dad and their ex-husbands to grab the kids to take them for their weekend and here go you every weekend without a court stepping in this man steps in and gets his kid his kids every weekend and every thursday is with them after school so you don't have to rush you get a little bit of a break we might not see eye to eye, me and Kenny, and we probably never will on certain things. But one thing I can't take from that man is that he is a great dad. He's an awesome dad. I don't know what them birds is trying to eat, but it's trash, y'all. It's trash. It ain't no food in there. But um, he's an awesome dad, and I can never, I, ne I never could take that from him. And to all the people that don't have that support system, I pray y'all get some type of support system with your family and if you have a kid that's a single parent you know check in with your kids see what you could do to help your kid out you know to give them a break because moms be going through it the primary parent even if the primary parent is a dad they be going through it sometimes and to just get that break that mental break it's needed so i don't know i just I wanted to talk this morning. I don't know why. I just needed to talk. Like, and it's 
so hard when we don't have like a lot of adult friends. Like I got friends, but not enough. I don't want to talk to somebody's ear off 7 o'clock in the morning, so I talk to my camera, which is talking to y'all, so I can get feedback from y'all <laughs> early in the morning. So, um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I get the workout in. Liz is supposed to be starting to work out with me, so we'll see how that goes. If, um, we'll see if she starts joining. And... I'm supposed to have like I'm supposed to be going on a luncheon today too so we'll see if I end up going to my luncheon today or not because it's cold and when it's cold Tina don't like to do nothing Tina don't like to do nothing boy if you don't go that light is still green oh my god these I'm telling you these cars sometimes the light is sitting there green he's slowing down like sir the light is green why are you slowing down the light green he like this the light is green. Green don't mean slow down. Yellow means slow down. Not green. I swear, if he only get, oh my God. Like, I was all calm and then somebody do so dumb. I'm like, are, am I really my voice? Are you dumb? Like, seriously, are you dumb? <laughs> like, oh, Texans only in Texas. Oh, the Texans. We love them. <laughs> but let me go ahead and get off here y'all I, I gotta get going